to share with you the steps on how I was able to master algebra so quickly. I use these exact steps of solving equations, and I am very proficient at solving algebraic equations. Be sure to watch the entire video. At the end of this video, I will share with you some math tips that will help you improve your math skills. Before we get started, I'm going to show you a preview of this video. Stay tuned for an important message from our channel. This video is about teaching students techniques on algebra. I will show you the basic fundamentals of an equation. I will show you how to balance an equation by applying the same operation to both sides. I will demonstrate how to get started with the basic fundamentals. I will demonstrate how to get started with the basic steps of solving an equation. At the end, I'll share with you some tips on how to master math. You'll want to watch the tip. Please be sure to let me know in the comment section which technique you find most useful. Do you have any tips that you would like to share? Please be sure to share your tips in the comment section. Finally, be sure to subscribe, like, and share with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. Let's review algebra. So let's start with division. Say you have the equation 5x equals to 10. If you divide 5 on one side, then you have to divide 5 on the other side. 5x divided by 5 cancels, and then 10 divided by 5 is x equals to 2. Let's review algebra by multiplication. So say you have the equation 1 half x equals to 4. Copy the equation down again. You need to multiply 1 half by, by 2, or, or 2 over 1. Also on the other side, 2. Well, the 1 and the 1 cancel, the 2 and the 2 cancel, and, um, Bring the x down equals 2. 4 times 2 is 8. x equals to 8. Let's review algebra addition on both sides of the equation. Say you have the equation y minus 2 equals 12. Copy that down again. y minus 2 equals 12. Since this is negative 2, I have to add 2 to cancel out the negative 2. That cancels. You can also add 2 on the other side. So, bring the y down, equal down, 12 plus 2 is 14. y equals to 14. Let's review algebra subtraction on both sides of the equation. Say you have the equation 5 plus y equals to 15. What's the first thing you need to do? Well, you need to rewrite 5 plus y equals to 15. 5 plus y equals to 15. Well, since this is a positive 5, you need a minus 5 to cancel out the positive 5. That cancels out, so it is this. Now, we also minus 5 on this side, and then bring the y down, bring the equal down. 15 minus 5 is 10. y equals to 10. ax plus by equals to c. This is standard form. y equals to mx plus b is y-intercept form. Today's lesson is how to convert standard form into y-intercept form. Today's equation is negative 6x plus 2y equals to 8. What is the first thing I need to do? Well, I need to solve for y. How do I do that? I need to add the opposite of negative 6x on both sides. Now, 
this negative 6x and the positive 6x cancel. And then now you bring the 2y equals to 8 plus 6x down. What is the, the second thing you need to do? Well, you need to multiply 2 by the reciprocal of it. Sides. So pretend there's a 1 under 2, the 1 and the 1 cancel, and then the 2 and the 2 cancel. Now you only have 1y. That's great. So y equals 2, 8 times 1 half. Plus 6x times 1 half. Now, you need to pretend there's a 1 under the 8, the 1 and the 1 cancel, and then y equals 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and then you pretend there's a 1 under 6, 6x divided by 2 is 3x. That doesn't look quite like y-intercept form, so you need to switch the 3x with the 4. y equals to 3x plus 4. Ta-da! This is the y-intercept form. Like y equals to m, This the 3 represents m, the x represents x, and the 4 represents B. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like it, and share it with your friends and family. In this section, I will share with you some math tips that will help you improve your math skills. Please be sure to take note of this section and share it with your friends and family. Let's do some math tips, and I will prove to you why you have to do the same thing on both sides of an equation. Let's start with addition. Say you have 6 equals to 6. Well, add 2 on one side, and then you have to add 2 on the other side. 6 plus 2 is 8. Equals 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. Check. Why you have to subtract on one side and the other side. Say you have 6 equals to 6. And then you want to subtract 2 on one side. Well, you also have to subtract 2 on the other side. Minus 2, minus 2. 6 minus 2 equals 4. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Bring the equal down. 4 equals to 4. Check! Let's do some math tips. And I will prove to you why you have to multiply on one side and the other side. Say you have 6 equals to 6. You want to multiply 2 on, the, on one side. You also have to multiply 2 on the other side. 12, and 6 times 2 is also 12. So you bring the equal down. 12 equals to 12. Let's do some math tips. I will prove to you if you divide something on one side, then you have to divide on the other side too. Let's say you have 6 equals to 6. You want to divide 2 on one side. You also have to do it on the other side. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 6 divided by 2 is also 3. Bring the equal down. 3 equals to 3. Check! 